Yo, yo, what's going on, your boy Amar here, another review. So today's an opinionated tire review and topic. So today's topic is going to be how to survive in the tire business. I repeat, how to survive in the tire business. I know I do a lot of videos saying um, how, to be in how to start a tire shop, tire shops make money. Well, now his aspect is how to survive the tire business. Okay, right off the bat, we are located in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. We are in such a saturated market. We're in the Golden Horseshoe between Niagara and Toronto. Every corner you turn, someone is selling tires or getting into the tire business. So basically, how do you survive? Well, right off the bat, everybody's selling tires, right? From your Costco's to your Walmart's to the gas stations, lube centers, private mom pa garages, official tire shops, non-official tire shops, tire franchises, and online. The online giant has come in and has flooded the market with so many different tire companies, tire prices, when you, when you look at them, when you buy them, when you check out, when you add them to your cart, when you go shopping, this and that across the border. So how does, how does Bob and Joe, for example, your average two guys survive in the tire business? Right off the bat, you gotta get back to check my other videos. It's gonna be, be an honest tire shop. Honesty, good workmanship will always help you survive in the tire business. Number two, keep your facility clean. If you're a tire shop, you open up as a tire shop. You don't open up as a tire shop slash audio store slash accessory store slash uh, window tinting slash changing wiper blades slash oil change. Your tire shop, you breathe, eat, sleep, breathe, and a couple of the words I can't use, tires. Okay, another thing what's happened is back in the day when the US dollar got evened out in Canada here, everybody was, there's two words that came out of everybody's mouth. One was, I'm gonna go across the border or Buffalo, and the second was tire rack. Well, now that the U.S. dollar, thanks to President Trump and all this other politic mumbo jumbo, tires now 32% more to go to the U.S. So the U.S. is never coming out of anybody's mouth anymore. What happened was everybody would go on websites such as everybody would go online to different websites and say, "Oh, I can get a tire for 80 bucks. Why are you selling me a tire for 120?" Yeah, but that was a couple years ago. But now, yeah, the tire is still listed at 80 bucks. But when you go check out, add to cart, get your shipping duties custom fees, and you're just gonna get four tires dropped off to your door, then someone's gotta put them on. So now the US equation's out the window. So that's one reason, one positive factor that can help you survive the tire business. Now another thing to help you survive the tire business is you gotta advertise online, you gotta advertise on blogs, you gotta drop YouTube videos like what I do every day. When a customer, and you also, like I said, you gotta have a strong website, you have to have a strong social media presence, but the, another thing that you go back to old, good old fashioned hard work is, you sell tires over the phone. I repeat, you sell tires over the phone. Doesn't matter what's online, doesn't matter how many reviews are online, doesn't matter if someone's got a multi-million dollar website about tires, their pictures, their images, their fancy graphics, but end of the day, someone's gotta take four tires, jack up a car, and put them on the vehicle. So what does that mean? Someone's gotta call a physical tire shop. When someone calls your tire shop, you gotta be courteous, you gotta be knowledgeable, you have to give people the time of day. Doesn't matter you have 10 customers in front of you or one customer. You put the customer, you tell the customer in front of you, you take care of them, and then you tell the customer on the phone, if you can't absolutely take care of them, you say, sir, can I take your number, I'm gonna call you back, and do that. But don't make a habit of that because then that person won't take you seriously in the future because you know what they're brushing them up. So when somebody calls, me, calls you knowledgeable, take your time, explain to people, the different tire brands, different companies, why they're cheaper, why they're more, what's, tell people availability, when you can get them, and give the person the tax included price out the door over the phone. Don't give them a price and surprise them with hidden fees when they come in. Tires are 99% sold over the phone. When you give somebody good service over the phone, customer service and a good price, they're gonna show up in your front door and put them on, that's it. That's one of the number one reasons how to survive in the tire industry. Stock popular sizes, but in this economy, if you can't even stock any tires, be professional, schedule your appointments properly, get your tires brought in. Like I said, invest. If you can't if you're start a new business and you can't afford brand name stuff, start with the cheap ones, work your way up, invest in proper tools, invest in all the accessories you need to do the job, get trained, constantly practice your tire installations, be careful, and run an honest, solid business. Another way to survive the tire industry is like I said, Advertise as much as you can, social media presence, Instagram posts are free, post properly. Okay, like I said, uh, winter's coming, we're in the month of October, the very first week. It's cold, we ain't selling no more rims now. And another thing, like I said, is be honest. I'm a tire shop myself, 
people saying, Amar, why are you posting this video for? You should not post this video. You're going to be, you know, posting videos to your competition. Well, that's not how it works. I didn't build my channel on being dishonest or misleading people and worrying about my own pocket. I don't even monetize my videos. I don't put YouTube commercials on my videos. I don't make one penny from YouTube. I do this for the passion of wheels and tires in the automotive industry. I do this to help others as others have helped me. So that's the main reason, professionalism, honesty, courtesy, take your time, don't act big. Okay, just because you make two tire sales in one day and you start blowing off other people because you think you're the king of the world. No, you treat every customer equally and you treat every customer like it's the very first day you opened. You do that, the next thing you know, you'll be very good in business, you'll have a huge clientele, and you'll be mountain tires all day long. Thanks for watching, this is your boy Amar. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, or Hilliard Trimlines, or my personal account at A-M-A-R-S-I-H-R-A. DM below, guys, get on that social media, start liking, start following, you know what time it is.